We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you are. <clears throat> uh, my name is Philip Saliba. I'm a researcher from Data Privacy Brazil Research Association. Uh, Data Privacy Brazil is a nonprofit entity headquartered in Sao Paulo. The organization is dedicated to the interface between personal data protection, technology, and fundamental rights producing research and actions before the justice system, legislative agencies, and government. We're currently working on a research project regarding data protection in the public security field. And these are some of the findings we want to share with you. <clears throat> in Brazil, we are noting a recurrent problem regarding photo lineup and the imprisonment of innocence. There is an establishment practice in the police of organizing the mugshot albums as they are called but the photographs places but the photographs places in them go from real suspect and convicted individuals to innocent and or acquired people those images get there through official registers but also unconventional means such as whatsapp whatsapp groups uh, created by police police officers in the streets. According to, to a research conducted by the National Council of, of Public Defenders, alongside with the Public Defender's Office in the state of Rio de Janeiro, the errors in photos lineup affects mostly the Black community, with, which also indicated a discrimination factor in the conduct. To worsen the situation, there is not a yet there is not yet a regulation to the use of the photo lineups. The legal parameter, the code of criminal practice, is dated from the from the uh, 1940s. There is a very outdated law that brings many practical difficulties. As a way to fix the legal gap. The National Council of Justice created a work group to diagnose Brazilian scenery and elaborate a draft view of the manner. Simultaneously, the House of the Representatives, another, another work group, is analyzing the view of the new, the new Code of Criminal Procedure. This draft tries to update the procedures, including digital evidence to the norm, but fails for not reinforcing cons constitutional guarantees and due process, especially regarding data practice uh, uh, issues. Uh, among the changes, there are provisions that authorize unproportional, massive retention of data in investigations, government hacking, setbacks in terms of already set guarantees for calls for calls interceptation and other questionable measures both regulations the photo lineup and the new code lack another law to lean on last year the associate the the data privacy research association helped the jurist commission responsible for the development of a first draft of a criminal data protection law, which was inspired by the in the directive uh, of, of uh, European Union 2016-6080. Uh, we believe that this law is, ne is a necessary step in order to set a regulation of personal data protection in the public security and criminal investigation field. This lack of regulations on data, process, on, on data processing concerns civil society organizations, especially now that we are, now that there are so many public security laws 
being reviewed by the Congress. Aside from the from the from two already mentioned, Brazil has signed the Budapest Conventions on Cyber Crimes. The debates here in Brazil on the accession have been rushed, not leaving much space to evaluate and criticize the text and make an appropriate inclusion in the Brazilian legal framework. Brazil is a country marked by a colonial history and a slavery regime, which led to a profound inequality in its population. Also, a lot of actions conducted by the public apparatus are not as transparent and as they should be. Therefore, a lot of actions conducted by the public by the public apparatus. <clears throat> therefore, an upset. Uh, sorry. Therefore, an obstacle for social control. There is to say that the decision making uh, resides in a few hands, putting a risk, putting at risk the individuals. In addition to the local scenery, vigilantes is growing around the globe that accentuates the need for international cooperation and define it and define its shared res responsibilities between the public and the private sector, not only in Brazil, but all countries that Brazil has relation with. Uh, we are now uh, taking questions. If one, if everyone, if anyone has some um, questions about the research or uh, about uh, data protection in, data protection in security, in public security field in Brazil. Thank you very much. Uh, since we have no questions, I'm gonna uh, use this minutes to share some of the, uh, and this especially on the mugshot albums and the imprison of innocence. So uh, in Brazil, we have this, uh, this issue that is very different from global north, but very similar to other countries, especially in Latin America. Uh, even though we have uh, issues regarding things like facial recognition, uh, this prison, this imprisoning of innocents in Brazil are especially made by uh, admissions. Uh, these mugshot albums, they are, they are, uh, created by every police district in Brazil. Um, and they are a collection of photos that, that we don't know where they came from. Uh, some of them come from uh, official data sets, um, official databases and photos and informations like from uh, identification institutes. Uh, official identification institutes, but some of them come from um, very uh, non-transparent non-transparent means. For example, uh, WhatsApp uh, WhatsApp groups. Uh, many police officers they are on the street. If they see someone, they think it's a suspect. If they see someone that they think it's uh, a person that may be committing some crimes, they can take a picture of them uh, and share it in these groups. So these groups, uh, some of, the, some of them, uh, the picture uh, get printed in the district uh, and they are, they are shown when you go to the police officer to register a crime or to request an investigation to make a, a call uh the 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 inspectors may show you this album and say is is one of these persons most of them are uh, black people and uh we we are very concerned about uh, data protection issues in this uh, in this mugshot albums. Um, another another thing that we are pursuing 
is to debate uh, the perception of innocence and data protection in those albums because uh, they don't have a, a, a life cycle that defined it. So when a photo goes through the album, uh, this person can be uh, investigated as many times as someone points out that, okay, this might be the person that uh, robbed me, for example. So a person that uh, may have never committed a crime is always, is never, uh, the, the perception of innocent uh, is never fully, uh, fully there because when the, the, the photo is in the album, anyone can point out and say, okay, this is the one. Uh, for example, in Rio de Janeiro, uh, a man, a black man was uh, investigated uh, about nine times, even though he, he never committed any crime. Uh, they don't know how the photo came there. The, the public council of Rio de Janeiro uh, is defending him and they don't uh, fully know how the, the photo went to the mugshot album. Uh, th they suspect that the, the photo went there because uh, he went to the, the, to the uh, police officer, to, to, to the, the, the district, to, to, to go there for something, for example, to ask information and they took a, a photo of him. And because of that, he's, uh, he have been investigated nine times uh, along these years, even though he never committed any crime. And uh, recently, uh, the public defender's office uh, uh, had the, the, the they, they, they asked it for the injustice in to, to remove his picture from the, from these albums, especially the, that district and they had a positive decision. So this is the first uh, decision that, uh, at, that confirmed the exclusion of the photo on these mugshot albums, but we have a very uh, long and complicated uh, uh, walk through this issue in Brazil. Um, Data Privacy uh, Brazil Research Association are, we are uh, working on this in, in many fields. We are doing empirical research and uh, we are trying to understand uh, how these pictures come in, what are the, the, the softwares that police uses and how are they able to, to identificate these people but we are also talking to the to the uh, to the national council to the national council of justice because they are since there are many innocent people uh, on the media especially being uh, with the the showing that these uh, these photos lineups are very uh biased and they they are not effective uh the national council of justice is have have a group work to to to, to regulate this this photos lineups and the uh, our our preoccupation is especially with data protection means with these photos um so we are at trying to correlate data protection and other fundamental rights, such as presumption of innocence, uh, the rights to, 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 to fully defend yourself 
because when you don't know uh, where this, these pictures came from uh, and they are not transparent, there, there is no transparency in the uh, police uh, procedures and admin, admin, administrative practices. So um, these are our main concerns. Uh, thank you very much for uh, being here. Um, I'm gonna leave. Oh, so we have five minutes left. Okay, so if if anyone has any questions, because I'm gonna leave the Data Privacy Brazil uh, website, the, the Research Association website. And um, and uh, the if anyone, I, I'm gonna keep using this time for to to present other things. Uh, not only the mugshot albums. Uh, we think that the mugshot albums are a great opportunity to discuss to discuss data protection and the in in the public security field. Uh, in Brazil, we have a draft bill of uh, a, a data protection law for, for for the security field that was inspired by the European Union Directive uh, 2016. Uh, 6080. Uh, the the, the, this draft is uh, very, uh, it's very uh, appreciated by specialists, but uh, no, no, uh, but they, they, they it's not being uh, analyzed by the Congress. So it's only a draft bill. It has no, no deputy to, to, to present uh, a, a law project. So we, uh, we are very concerned about this. And we think that this, uh, this is a great opportunity for our Brazil that that already has a data protection law that we think it's very important, not only because of the test, but, but the way it was uh, it was uh, constructed with uh, uh, mood sectorialism, so uh, academia, civil society, government, and the uh, and, uh, different companies the private sector had a very important uh, consensus on how this this law should be. So we think with this experience in Brazil, in the internet, uh, the in the internet governance uh, field, we have a very uh, very big opportunity to take this and. Uh, and um, regulate the use of new investigation means. So this is a very important uh, this is a very important uh, uh, very important uh, step for Brazil in the data protection and public security field. Uh, I'm gonna um, invite you all to, to take a look on our other uh, research projects. We have uh, some, some uh, fields about uh, governments and regulations, power and asymmetries, and platforms and uh, digital markets. And they are all 
uh, regarding data protection and fundamental rights. And I'm gonna, I want to thank you, uh, IGF, for the for the opportunity in this lightning talk, and everyone here that was presented. Uh, if you have any questions, also I'm gonna leave my email. but also the website of the of Data Privacy Brazil Research Association. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>